guys, it's Remy. I recently started school for sonography and my experience with getting into school was very unusual. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Now, I don't want to give anyone the wrong idea. I don't want you to watch this and think that it's advice or what you should expect. Um, this was just my experience and I recognize that it is not typical. Three months ago, I didn't know that my school existed and now I'm in finals week. So let me back up. I've known for a while now that I wanted a career change, but it took me a couple of years to figure out what that should be. The first time I became aware that diagnostic medical sonography was a career that people have was when I had to get an ultrasound done in February of 2020. So a little over a year before I applied. I can have a whole separate video going into all the details of my career path up till now, how I picked DMS, um, my previous bachelor's degree, which is in film production. So let me know in the comments if you want that video, but for now I'm going to focus more on getting into school. So sonography was kind of on the back of my mind since February 2020, but it wasn't until February 11th of 2021 that something clicked and I made the decision that this was what I was going to pursue. So on that day, I looked up all the places in my city where you can get a degree in sonography and I sent in requests for information. There were two of them and I was more interested in uh, the College of Healthcare Professions, which is where I ended up going. There was another one that I was also interested in as kind of a backup. So the next day, a recruiter contacted me from the College of Healthcare Professions and she explained that the next start date would be March 15th, and she wasn't sure if it was full, but she thought it was probably full. Um, but we went ahead and set up a Zoom meeting for the following week, um, just so I could get all the information about the program. But then things got a little bit delayed, because there was a snowstorm here in Texas, which knocked out the power for thousands of people, including myself. Um, so I could not have a Zoom meeting that following week. So instead, it was two weeks later on February 25th. So I met with the recruiter through Zoom on February 25th, which happens to be the day before my birthday, and she told me that the March 15th date was completely full and that I won't be able to start until November 1st. I was a little bit disappointed about that because I did want to get started as soon as possible so I could get into the field. I was trying to decide whether or not I should go to my second choice school because they had a start date in August, so I would start a little bit sooner. So I was a little bit disappointed but not surprised because I figured it wouldn't have been enough time to apply for a program and get in anyway. Boy, did I not know. On March 2nd, my recruiter called me and said, surprise, a spot opened up for the March 15th start date, which was in less than two weeks. And she said, I immediately thought of you. I knew you wanted to get started right away. And I think that you would be the perfect candidate for this open spot. So from March 2nd forward, I was in hustle mode. I had to complete my application, write an essay, create an academic resume, get all my transcripts from my two previous universities and my high school. So there was a lot to do. So on March 10th, I had a Zoom meeting with the higher ups in the program. This was maybe a bit naive of me, but I didn't quite realize that this was like the big interview to get in. In my head, it was more of just like an informational meeting about the program. So I was not prepared to be interviewed when I got into that Zoom call. But the thing is, I think because I wasn't prepared, I actually did a little bit better. I think that that actually helped me not be too nervous because I can get really anxious sometimes. I think I was a little bit better about, you know, interviewing off the cuff and not trying to be like overly rehearsed and overly fake or anything like that. So again, this is not a recommendation about how you should approach your application process. For me, it actually, it ended up working quite well to go in a little bit unprepared. So later that evening on March 10th, I got the call from my recruiter that I had gotten in for the March 15th start date. She said that 20 people applied and they ended up letting in three people, even though there was only one open spot. So that, that really made me feel good to hear that they liked me enough and these other two people enough that they had to open more spots instead of turn any of us away. That really, that really helped my confidence. But I still, I, I kind of feel a little bit like an imposter because my other classmates have worked so hard for so long, I'm sure, done so much preparation to get into this program, and then just here I come flying by the seat of my pants, makes me sort of 
feel a little bit like I don't belong. Um, so I'm not sure how long I'll still have that feeling. Hopefully after I'm further into the program, I can feel a little bit more confident. But anyway, so like I said, I was accepted on March 10th and classes started on the 15th. So there was not a lot of time to get everything done. So on March 11th, I had to do a financial aid meeting as well as an orientation also via Zoom. And then that whole weekend I was working and I was so stressed because class was starting on Monday and I did not feel prepared. But March 15th, I started my classes and it actually has gone really well. Most of my first semester classes are eight weeks long. One of them is 16 weeks and so I'm in midterms for that class. But for three of them, I am currently in finals. And then next week I start two more uh, eight week classes. I just can't believe how fast everything has happened and how I am already here about to finish the first three classes of my program. So far I'm getting all A's, hopefully that doesn't change, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So I am so excited to take you guys on this journey with me as I complete this program in the next two years and to start my career. So I've actually had this channel for a long time. I started it in high school like 10 years ago. And I set all those old videos to private to kind of start a clean slate. So let me know if you have a better idea for a channel name. Remy Set Go is something that I use for a lot of my different accounts across the internet. And I'm trying to decide if I should go with something for this channel that's a little bit more specific to sonography, like Remy Sano or something else. I don't know. So let me know in the comments your suggestions for a channel name, and I will see you all next time. Thanks.